Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. So today I am actually going to show you what I bought in France, when I was in France and why I was in France. So if you are interested in project planning, makeup, skincare related stuff, please consider subscribing. My name is Tona, welcome to my beauty world. So what, what is it all about? So two weeks ago, I actually went to France for cultural reasons, you know, because or artistic reasons, because there was a big, you know, outside exhibition uh, by Jean-Claude and Christ Christo. I don't know if you have heard about these artists. They, unfortunately, both of them passed away. Christo passed away last year. His wife passed away several years ago and they are famous for their ex outdoor exhibition. So if you have seen, for example, in um, Grand Central uh, Park, you know, the big umbrellas which they put up or um, the, you know, they uh, kind of, covered the Reichstag, the parliament building in Germany, you know, over 20 years ago, 30 years ago. And usually what they do is, you know, they sell this, the plans for those kind of, you know, um, let's say, uh, projects. And when, once they receive the money, they start to do this project. So, and, um, you know, one project which was planned before they passed away, before Jean-Claude and Christo passed away, was actually to cover up the Arc de Triomphe. And, I will just show you this are the pieces of the material they have used to cover it up. I will also try to insert some pictures so that you can see it. You know, and um, the Arc de Triomphe is near Champs Elysees, so it's a touristic area. It's Champs Elysees is one of the biggest, I think, shopping mall, uh, shopping streets or high streets in Paris, which is quite, uh, you know, expensive. Uh, you know, because all the lux uh, luxurious boutiques are there, Louis Vuitton, I don't know, Bottega Veneta and uh, Dior and so on. They are all there. And a lot, of course, a lot of tourists are going there, you know, just to be on this uh, big, big road or big street, so to say, you know. And it's, it's quite interesting. Unfortunately, the weather was not that good for, you know, on that day when I went and then um, I got caught up in the rain, I was sitting in Starbucks, but then I was just checking, okay, Sephora is in France, you know, it is in Paris, of course, I can just maybe go there, and then the next uh, Sephora was like uh, 900 meters away from the Starbucks where I was sitting, and I was like, okay, let me take this up, uh, you know, let me take this opportunity and go and do shopping. If you are not aware of it, Sephora is actually a French uh, company, which is you know, which was established in 1960s or end of 1960s. And they just, you know, kind of started their worldwide expansion, you know, and of course in the US they are quite famous or whenever I watch beauty YouTube content, you know, everybody's talking about Sephora as, you know, as a main um, place to go to buy, uh, you know, your makeup related, you know, your makeup products and so on. So, and I know that Sephora is also in Germany, but here in the Netherlands, we don't have Sephora and I'm aware that we don't also don't have Sephora in Belgium, you know, because when I was living in Belgium, I, I didn't see any Sephora's. I don't think that they are there. So interesting why they are excluding. Maybe I think it's because of the laws or something like that, that it could be or because of a competition that they are not supposed to be there. I don't know. Anyway, I bought just a few things, you know, just to make it short, this haul. So you can see Sephora haul, you know, click and collect because of COVID. They have, you know, also the offer that you can or shop a lot of things online and then just click and collect. I saw a lot of stuff in actually of Marc Jacobs online. I was interested in getting those, but when I went to the store, everything was sold out. I didn't think about, you know, ordering it online and picking it up because I thought maybe the shop is, you know, that Sephora store doesn't have any anything left. So it was a little bit of a high risk to, you know, to order online very, you know, on very short notice and then try to get it actually in store. So it was not possible anyway. So what did I get? You know, I went there and I was going through all the, you know, let's say, um, lines and I was just checking out what do they have some things they were interesting but most of the things that I saw were not interesting to me price wise because as you know I'm a cheap sk uh, skate I always want to buy things on sale so uh, but interestingly enough I found some things uh, for me 
and I will show you. I found actually two brushes from the Sephora line. I don't know if you have the same brushes also in the US or somewhere else, but this is a Multitasker brush 06. It's also marked as this one and also in French, multi texture. And it is a very nice brush. Not that stiff, but still, you know, you can use it for um, complexion products and so on liquid cream or powder so it is vegan and uh so you can throw this one away because it's recycled uh, to be recycled where was it produced made in china and i liked actually the appearance of this brush so much i bought a backup not sure why i bought it but it was okay you know i thought have two why not you know i don't know when i will go back next uh, time to france so and i just bought it, two of those and they were 14.99 so 14 euros 99 not dollars which was okay then i saw these little guys uh, you know sephora has their own eyeshadow collection of course they have their own collection and these ones are from the colorful effet metal uh, uh metallic uh, eyeshadows so these are one gram each and they were 4.99 6.99 i think yes some of them were reduced to 4.99 but some of them were still 6.99 so uh, i grabbed this one this is in pinkle pinkalicious you know so i have not opened it yet i swatched it in the store and i like this color because it's a you know pink you know metallic color then this color you know it is a green but in the you know in the screen or on the screen it looks like a teal color so then i have here you know purple I, you guys can see from my eye makeup i'm wearing purple eye makeup so i that's also because of 50 shades of purple that i'm doing right now on my channel so so check it out if you want to see more of purple eye color and purple products and this one you know this is looks like um like a dark yeah dark blue purplish blue but in the pen it, you can see it is you know it has a lot of um, glitter and so on and it looks nice i think it was swatching dark blue if i'm not to state and so and then i will also show you what i got as samples so those ones go to my uh project um you know uh, turn and burn or here on my channel then I actually, you know, was thinking about getting this one for a long time because everybody's raving about it. You know, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is the one Ultra Creamy and it was in light medium beige. I don't know if you can see it now. I bought it um, and it was, it was not on sale if I'm not mistaken. Um, it was a regular price, 27 euro so 27 dollars i think usually you uh, you buy it of 30 dollars so it it is more or less the same price so i didn't think about buying it in the us and having it shipped to me and then paying customs or on top of it i thought like you know what i just go and buy it there then two little samples that i got were actually this joe malone uh cypress and grape wine uh, cologne you know so this is just a sample like this and how much is it 1.5 ml then i got from clinique these samples you know these are the moisturizing bb gel and you have to you know kind of press this one first because it goes into the second area here on top and then it kind of mixes and then you can apply it and this one is a custom blend hydration system but is it a certain shape uh, a shade sorry no it is not but uh, the lady at the cashier she gave me two so i got two of those so i can try them out what else um actually this was my little haul if you liked it please so uh, like it if you don't like it please dislike it but let me know in the comments why did you didn't like it i wish you a good day bye bye